1949 Rolex Oyster Perpetual. This watch is one of the rarest and oldest models in the series. This time piece was eventually sold for $1.22 million in 2014 at the Christie's event in Geneva. It consists of an antique cloisons enamel dial that enhances its beauty. Eric Clapton's 1971 Rolex Daytona Albino. This 1971 Rolex Daytona Albino was once owned by Eric Clapton, who bought it in the 1990s. It was sold for $1.4 million at a Philip auction in Geneva in 2015, making it one of the top 10 most expensive Rolex watches ever. Back in 2003, it was auctioned by Sotheby's in New York for just $505,000. The Eric Clapton watch carries the reverence Set 2, Set 3. It is one of the only four watches with silver chronograph totalizers in the same color as the silver dial. Paul Newman's Rolex Daytona Oyster Shuttle. Paul Newman Daytona carrying reverend Sig 239. It was sold in 2016 at the Philips Auctions event for $1.95 million. Nineteen forty two Rolex anti magnetic split seconds chronograph four one one three. The anti-magnetic reverence 4113 from 1942 was sold for $2.45 million at the Philips Auction in Geneva. It is the largest Rolex timepiece ever made, making it unique in its own way. This model was never made available to the public but was exclusively given to a small group of racing drivers. There are only about 12 of these 44mm split-second chronograph in existence. It has a stainless steel body with two sweep second hands. Nineteen fifty eight Rolex GMT Master. The 1958 Rolex GMT Master was sold for $3.5 million at the Philips Auction in Geneva. Unlike its kind, this particular watch is made of 18 karat gold and has the backlight coconut brown bezel. Its subsequent owner of this watch has preserved it in its original state without restoring this beauty. Most of the GMT Master's watches were made of stainless steel, but this one has 18 karat gold.
Bau Dai Rolex. This time piece was sold last year for $5.1 million at the Philips Geneva Ford's auction. Made in the 1950s, it was owned by Bao Dai, the 13th and last monarch of Vietnam. Its value has increased from 2002 when it was auctioned for only $235,000. This watch has 18 karat yellow gold triple calendar and moon face indicator. It also consists of black dial and a set of diamond markers. Paul Newman's 1968 Rolex Cosmograph Daytona. This timepiece was sold for $17.8 million at last year's Philips auction in New York to an anonymous phone bidder. The watch was gifted to Newman by his wife, Jonna Woodward, who had bought it from a Typhoon & Co. store in New York in 1968. Drive carefully was engraved on this piece. Paul Newman wore it for 15 years before gifting it to his daughter's then-boyfriend, James Cook, in 1984.